hi guys today i'm going to show you how to use magical so i'm going to open my terminal so from here just type magical as you can see the name click enter so we we'll wait for it to open first thing that we need to do is to register you select this particular one you select this you click next so from here you might you can choose online activation default offline activation so just leave it online activation default then you click next so as you can see now you accept here then you click next so two things you can click directly here if you want to you know set it off from here you can click browsing login or you copy the link from here or i'm going to register here directly on this particular machine i click here you can see this because I have an account before, but because of this training, so I'm going to use another account. So, so here now, I'm going to sign, create an ID from here. So I click on this particular side here to create a new ID. So I click, well, let's assume that you have an account, of course, you can sign it directly from here. But we are creating a new ID, so we click on this particular link. So as you can see here now you provide your email so as for me let me use this particular one so i'm using this one then I can provide my name so my name is Matt. then last name legend then i click continue here you provide your password then i continue let me just enlarge it so you can see it's better so a pin a verification code was sent to my phone so I'm going to check it and provide the pin here yeah so the next thing to do now is to click on sign in here so are you a student of course i am can click on this one then you select your country from here select your country so what i just need to do is just uh, use ng my country code then i put my mobile number here click on this click yes it selects me cases so for me um i use it for incident response then penetration testing it threat intelligence so and um, let's for example you have more things to inside that threats or cyber crime investigation then from here focus of business of course cyber security operation that's what i use it for then i continue okay sorry um organization of course um let me put uh, organization here which is cyber face cyber base technology let me just put something here i'm an ethic worker so i just put this one here so you'll be able to continue with your registration we are done now with the authentication authentication is complete so what you just need to do is to close this browser then we now go back to your normal masigo here you click next we continue our process here so we are back to masigo dashboard here so now as you can see you click on finish yeah so this is welcome to masigo yeah we are done with registration so this is i understand so here this first thing that you're going to see here you can choose the one you want if you need any other installation of course you can install all this like i said you can use matigo for many things a lot of things if you are cyber security especially OSINT or maybe you are belong to write me or investigations or you can use matigo for many things for a penetration tester if you are a digital forensic and incident response or maybe you're a law enforcement journalist and researchers all of them everybody can use this to a very very good OSINT tool that you can use one of the best OSINT tools that you can use all you just need to do is to click on this particular ones then you will have a new graph here so we call it a graph because these are work working environments so now like i said at the left hand side here at the left hand side here we have a lot of tools a lot of tools you want to know anything about a company you click on this maybe about desktop you want to know anything about domain about person but today i'm going to just work on a domain use a domain so you can search for his domain so as you can see we have dns name domain and it internet domain so what you just need to do is that you click on this and you drag to this environment so 
you click and drag into this environment so here we have another session here they call it home these are the layouts in the way you want your graph to look like maybe if you click on this as we proceed i will show you how all this will look and now this what we use all this to show this icon for and we have other session here the overview of what you are doing is here anything you do here you will it will appear here and um, also we have the details view that is your resource and everything will be will be seen everything here and we have four transformer here as well and down here output where everything the scripts the running and um, the live tools you will see everything here the way it's running you will see the output here this is just for an education purpose let's use google for example google.com that's a domain so we, we we run we we have what is called transforms so if you right click on this particular name you will see a lot of options here we have run transformers as you can see here so depend on what you want to do maybe you want to extract property to another entity type or you want to extract property to brace so if you want to run this particular entity you click on this particular icon and immediately you will run everything so now let's just click on run this dns name this particular one so i'm going to click on this as you can see you see run so i click on this particular one then we wait for it just like i said this bottom side is for the uh, output of what you are doing as you can see here so let's we wait for it as you can this see now see the results let me explain what all these results mean i'm just going to make this narrow so you can see it better you can use your mouse to enlarge these are the subdomain that is connected to google.com as you can see here gmail.google.com these are the domain that are connected to google.com if you want to move everything together you highlight like this then you'll be able to move everything the way you want you can enlarge just to see everything then let us assume that uh, you only want to work on this particular one maybe your reconnaissance uh, survey on this particular domain or on, on any of this domain let's for example let's just pick this particular one this sats-test.sandbox.google.com let's delete the rest so what we need to do now is that since we have already identified what we want to do sorry you can use this one to move it as well so you can also move it down up like here yeah. so now we want to use this one so um what you just need to do is that you highlight this side the one that you decide that you don't need i don't need this side then you right click then you delete yeah so i don't need this one as well since this is the only one i need so i right click then i delete right click and delete you can move this make it small drag up down short so we want to know that domain that connected to it and also we want to know the ip and every other stuff okay let's just use an ip let's look for the ip here ip that's associated to this particular human so the result is up now so you can move it up small move it up small so as you can see now this is the ip this ip6 and this ip4 so you can go further for more investigation you can also check maybe this particular domain is active you can check that by you know ping this ip here so what you just need to do is that uh, you open your terminal here um let me split my screen my screen so i split it uh, all right here then as you can see i can see see the ip is um that's pink that's one four two dots two five one dots one 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 dots nine zero then you click enter so now as you can see we can verify that the ip is active if you want to search for a person you will just need to just come back come here again then you use for person so as you can see here we have person here you right click on it you click on it and drag it here so here is it so that's how to use Matigo. 